All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, check, 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 check. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. And I'm going to do this. I need to get this guy over here. Uh, I am prepping up for the Tar Heel Challenge down there at the Clinton House, put on by the my buddy, uh, what's his, Donnie Flo, and Mike Sexton. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be shooting out to 600 yards. It'll be just similar to what we did at the Tar Heel Challenge last year. And uh, I just wanted to really quickly, while we're in the office, I'm going to show you because they have a new division. And the new division allows me to hold on one second. Ugh. And yes, we are showing firearms on here, but we're not trying to sell anything yet. But uh, hey, listen, uh, PSA has got a lot of really good deals on Geisley products. I went through the thing. They've got a lot of cool deals for all the way of branch wide, but the Geisley stuff uh, is the big one. So if you check out campsite below, you'll see that. But this year, this time around, and uh, as well as Memorial 3 gun, they're gonna. I'm gonna use this guy right here. It's the it's Legion X5, and it has the uh, Leupold. Uh, this is their uh, DP Pro. My God, I can't even remember the names of things. Anyway, I've got this thing equipped. We'll do a real quick review on what we've got in here because we changed out the trigger on this guy and we got some pretty cool stuff. Got this from my buddy Pops Quest. Uh, and on the rifle, uh, here's a couple things we're gonna change. Now, I was going to go ahead and run the full carbon deal, uh, the lower, and use the uh, the guys from uh, Armaspec, but I realized, <laughs> I, I don't have a whole lot of time for testing, so we're going to go back to the one that we used last year. This is set up with the uh, JP Lower. I am running a Trigger Tech Diamond on this guy. Uh, on top of it, I'm looking to increase the height of the scope. And the reason we're going to do that is because when you go into a cheek weld position right here, a lot of times with three gun, awkward positions, you want to be a little higher on this. So you don't have to jump down as low, but we can go up here. Also CQB, it makes it a little easier as well as this new division. Uh, typically you have to, uh, you're not allowed to run uh, bipods, but in this new division you are. So I kind of took a Arca rail attachment and put it on the bottom. This is a, an Atlas bipod. And this is one, it, it doesn't allow you to traverse, but it still allows you to, I think, yes, go back and forth, which is really what I need. And if I need, I have a barrier stop up here. And I hope that's in focus with you guys. We are going to do this as we do. We're going to we're going to go through this thing. I'm running an Ultradyne Apollo S on here. I've asked about the X1. I don't know which one's better. If you guys have any experience with that, let me know. Um, but this is a... Uh, what the hell? Proof research, a carbon fiber wrap barrel. And uh, yeah, this is a really bad mamma jam. It's very light. Uh, Geisley, not a Geisley, but we're running a CMMG. They're uh, really nice charging handle. That's actually loud. All right. I wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on, but also check the campsite down below because that's going to be some good deals. I'm not allowed to tell anybody, but check this out, man. I can run this thing, lay it up on a, something like that. I set it up on my computer thing. Uh, and this, the optic is one of the best out there. Had to change the battery out and I would keep this thing in the back of my truck. Also guys, if you're running an optic, it automatically shuts off or on with movement and you got that bad boy in the back of your truck or in your car and you're running, you know, 100 hours up and down the road, guess what's gonna happen in that battery because of the movement from the car, you're gonna do that. Also, I changed out to the Bravo B2 or whatever. This is the, uh, Oh shit, I forgot the name of this guy too, but I've changed it out to this guy right here. I am going to go ahead and probably stick a uh, uh, QD attachment point up here for a sling. You never know. Uh, this is probably could be one of my favorite go-to rifles as well. With that being said, oh, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform 24-7 for our freedom. His freedom is not free. Don't forget to check out that campsite. These deals are pretty good because they have the guys, the SSAE enhanced uh right now four and you probably are getting those deals too uh where is it ss 150 bucks 149.99 i don't know what shipping is but usually my first two or three guys the ssa ease enhanced were right around 229 it was i used a, a gift card to buy it i was so broke with that y'all be good don't we do this god bless america god bless his men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms freedom is not free boom i am out of here also, we're gonna. I'm gonna continue talking about some woke stuff because that stuff it just irritates me to no end that 
I think society, for some reason, some people, the minority, my minority of these individuals think we're supposed to bend over backwards for them. Hell no. It's KB32. I'm out here. Boom. Y'all be good. Ha <laughs> ha.